Okay, it's time to get back to work on our uh, GUIs, and this time we want to add some menus to the GUI that we had been working on in the previous video. Uh, we had set up a GUI, just in case you don't remember what it looks like, that has a list over here of movies. It's supposed to display titles, years, and ratings, and then have description in this area. Um, we also wanted to add a menu so that you can open and save changes that you make. So we'll go ahead and put that in. Menu bar equals new menu bar. And these options can all go inside of a file menu. Contents, we're going to add in a new menu with label file. And inside of here, we will add three things. Actually, technically four things, because we're going to add a separator just for visual appeal. Uh, a menu item for actually wait. There are many ways we can do this. We'll do it this way. A menu item for an action for open, and we will have it call a function open file. a menu item with an action for save that will do save file. We'll put in a separator in here and we'll also put in a menu item with an action for exit. And we'll call sys dot exit of zero. Now we need to define open file and save file. I will put those between the data declarations and of the other components and the declaration of the frame itself. Open file. Save file. Just to make sure we have everything correct, we can come over here and run this. We don't. We have a typo in separator. Now we run it, and you can see we have our menu open and save don't do anything, but exit does. Now we just have to fill in these two functions. When we're opening a file, we need to pop up a file chooser. So we'll make a new file chooser. And then we will check to see if chooser dot show open dialog. Uh, and we are going to open it over well, we open it over the movie list. Um, we want to check to make sure that that is equal to file chooser dot result dot approve. And remember, of course, if if you can't seem to recall any of these things, they are all inside of the API. So, for example, in our file chooser. We can go to the file chooser object and see that there is a result and there is an approve in here. And so all of the various things that, that we are dealing with, you can find in the API. If they did pick approve, then we want to open that file. Uh, we'll open it using a source. So how about we come up here and do another import. Import of Scala.io.source. We'll make the source equal source dot from file of chooser dot selected file so that we don't forget it. We'll make
make sure we close our source. And in between here, we want to read in a whole set of movies. Now the data is going to be divided up by lines, so it will be easiest for us to set lines equal to source.getLines. And now I want to run through the lines. Okay, so the question is, how do we do this? Uh, and some of this depends upon how we lay things out in the file. Um, consider the movie that we have here, Bambi. Well, let's make a file called movies.txt. And there, we have complete control over how we put the data inside of the file. Because I'm using a source, and because I have complete control, I'm actually going to pick a format that makes it easy for me. Really, all that matters is that the open and the save both agree on the format, and then if you go and edit the text file yourself, you put it in, in a, the format that open is going to read. So I'm going to put in a number at the top that tells me how many movies I have. And the reason for this is that way I can use things like list.fill and make it easier for, for me to read stuff. Uh, if I were to choose a different approach, I could do something differently. But I'm going to go with the, the list.fill approach here. And so I want to have um, the number of elements. So... Our first movie is Bambi. It, in our program, came out in 1976. It is rated G, and we have the description, Hunters are bad. Um, now, remember that the, uh, uh, this is, a, is coming from a text area. It might be multiple lines in here. And that is an, an interesting challenge for us. Um, to indicate that we are done with this movie, I'm going to go ahead and put a line that only has a dot. Uh, we could say the description just has to be one really long line, but it's very easy for someone, the way we've written this, to put in a multi-line description. And that's going to cause problems when we read it in, unless we have some way of knowing that we're done with uh, the current description. So the next thing that we need to have in here is, um, well, we need another movie. We need a title. Uh, I'm going to run along with my Disney theme here. Jeez, uh, what year did, did uh, Aladdin come out? That was probably around 19... I have no idea. Uh, that's probably close enough. Also, rated G and... Magic lamps are cool. Uh, never trust talking birds. Will be our synopsis, our description of that. And then we'll stop there. Now, if I use this file format, and once again, I got to choose what this file format was. There was nothing that actually forced me to use what I have written here. But I think it will work reasonably well for me reading things in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set movies equal to, well, list.fill. Because I can read right here at the beginning. So A, remember my movies is, is a list in this. Actually, you know what? I am going to go ahead and make it an array. There will be reasons for that later on where it can help us, and the fact that we have put into here the fact uh, that we know how many elements there are makes it easier for us to, to work with an array. How many should there be? Well, lines.next.toInt. Remember, with the lines iterator, we call next. That gives us back the next element. I'm going to convert that to an int. In this case, it's the first thing that I've read. And then for each one of those, I need to make a movie object. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a, a longer um, way of writing this code out. I'll create a val and say that title is equal to lines.next val year 
is equal to lines dot next dot to int val rating is equal to lines dot next and now the challenging one the description there are a number of ways that we could do this um, I'm just going to go with a while loop so I'm going to make a var called description and make it an empty string this is not the most efficient way of doing it but I think it's probably the easiest to understand and I'm also going to make a var called a line which I'll also start off as the empty string actually let's make line equal to lines dot next while line is not equal to a line with just a single dot on it we want to do two things we want to set the description and add to the end of it so uh, append onto it the line and then we want to read in a new line when we are done with that we will have read in the dot and we'll be ready to read in the next movie and so we should give back a movie with the title the year the rating and the description that we had at the end to check how close we are we can come over here and run this reassignment to val my fingers apparently wanted line to be a val instead of a var but we need it to be a var for the way we're writing our code so this works and we can uh, run it and well there were no errors when we did that but it didn't change our list at all either to make it change the list we need to have the last thing that happens in here be to change the list movie list dot and here we can go to the API uh, to see that there is an element in here called list data and so if we look there is list data and we can set list data to be the information that we want so list data equals movies dot map of underscore dot title remember once again we don't want the full movies we only want their titles and so if we run this now and we pick open and we go to our file now we have both Bambi and Aladdin their descriptions don't pop up here uh, there's still a number of things lacking from this uh, but at least we have the ability to to pull these things up what about saving well saving starts off very similarly we're gonna make a chooser we are going to open except instead of us uh, instead of showing the open dialogue we're gonna show the save dialogue instead of creating a source we are going to create a print writer a java dot io dot print writer that is wrapped around chooser dot selected file I left out the equal sign we need to make sure that we close that when we are done so we'll put that in there and now we want to write out the information that we have inside of movie in the same format that we agreed upon for reading it so it needs to look like this so the first thing that happens is we're going to print out movies.length. That's what goes on the first line. From that point on, we are just writing elements of the movies. So we can do this with a for loop. We can do this with a, a for each. Uh, I'm going to go with the for loop. For m in movies. First, I want to print line m dot title, and then I want to print line m dot year, pw dot print line m dot rating, and 
now we need to print line m dot description. Now, after we've printed the description, we need to make sure that we are on uh, another line and that we print out the line with the dot because that's not technically part of the description. Uh, that we didn't read that in, that wasn't, that never got added into here. Remember, as soon as the line was equal to dot, we jumped down here and we did not add it on. So we need to print that out at the end so that we know where descriptions from one movie end and where the other one begins. If we save that and we run this, We can read in movies.txt. You see that we have this. And if we save, we'll save it in this directory and call it movies2.txt. Now, if we break out, we can look at what's in this directory. You can see movies2. And it has Bambi uh, with its description, Aladdin with its description. Uh, now here is one thing that apparently we did not do appropriately. Uh, you'll notice that the file is one shorter. There is one other bug that needs to be fixed in here. And this is actually not a problem with the printing. This is a problem with the reading. When we were adding on these new lines, we did not add on... Uh, new line characters at the end of each one. So we can do that there. Uh, technically probably adding an extra new line. Uh, this might be something we want to come back and revisit. Uh, but we're going to be playing with this code some more when we, uh, in our next video, when we start talking about panes. So that's it for now, and we'll see you again shortly.